Felix heard some strange noises coming from the shore and a dust cloud rising from the buildings on the land. He thinks it might have been an earthquake. He checks that everyone on the boat is okay. Sammy nearly falls over when a really strong earthquake makes the ground shake. He knows that there might be a tsunami after an earthquake. And so he drops his fishing spear and starts running inland. He makes sure the other people on the beach start running inland as well. Isa stands up and dusts herself off, thinking that there was a very big earthquake. She knows the markets are close to the beach and if there is a tsunami, they will all be in danger. She raises the alarm and helps the injured people evacuate into the hills. Felix and his passengers are nervous about a tsunami coming, but Felix thinks that they are far enough out to sea to be safe. Just in case, he drives the boat further out to sea. Sammy and Isa are helping everyone evacuate up into the hills. Along the way, they have picked up some first aid supplies, food and bottles of water. They reach the top of the hill and turn back to look at the ocean. They can see a huge wall of water coming across the beach and can hear a very loud roar. They have made it to safety just in time. In the next few hours, there are two more big waves and then the ocean is quiet. Felix and his passengers have been listening to a radio and after three hours have passed since the earthquake, they hear an announcement saying it is safe for people to return to their villages. He turns the boat around and heads for shore, watching out for debris in the water. Sammy, Isa and all the people who evacuated have been huddled around the radio waiting for news. After three hours, they hear a crackly message saying that it is safe to return to their villages, but to be careful of debris. They all start to descend the hill. Everyone in the village survived because Felix, Sammy and Isa knew what the warning signs of a tsunami were and how to evacuate. You too can be saved from tsunami by knowing the warning signs and where the risks are.